Hey guys, thanks for logging back into Worm. This is Wisdom Forge again. In the last video, we had right clicked on the portal and used it and come to Xanadu. We are now at the starter town of Lormer. The way that you figure out where that is on the map is go over here to the right hand side of your screen, left click on the map button, and then these little purple huts, these are all the different starter deeds. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's nine of us. We're right here in the southern part of the map. And then you also have the option here to left click on the zoom. And you can left click on the mouse and move around. It kind of gives you an idea of where we are. Also with this map, you can do what's called private annotations where you can right click. You can add an annotation. You can click Pick one of these fancy things, fancy things. I am here. And congratulations. Zoom in, you now have an annotation on the map that shows that you're here. You can put this on and take this off as you like. If you're in Alliance, you can also set up ones for Alliance or your personal village or your Alliance. So you can have annotations. There's a certain amount of annotations you can have. I don't know what the limit is. But, you know, if you're visiting places and you find deeds and you want to be able to mark that you were there and, you know, if you're going back there again, you don't want to, like, well, I can't remember what the coordinates were, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just to let you know, the coordinates on the map are from A to V and then from 1 all the way up here to 32. So if somebody says, yeah, I'm in H26, well, you can go over here to H and kind of eyeball it over here to 26 and you'll be like oh okay they're kind of in that general area on the coast so that's how you primarily know how where people are on the map and if you say you're on lower lower they say well, where are you well i'm over here at down at lpq 15 but the truth is lormer is already on the map so you, you just tell them about lormer and they'll let you know okay so this is a deed and what a deed is, is that it's a piece of land that is paid for by a, a and I apologize, I got noise going on in the background here. It's paid for by a player with real life money. I'm not going to get into how deeds work. We'll do another video on that. But basically, it's your own piece of the world. And your deeds can be huge or they can be small. That's pretty much all we're going to talk about right now. This is the starter deed. All deeds have a token. All tokens will tell you what direction north, east, south, and west is. So if you get lost in the middle of the wilderness, just let you know, hey, you can go to find if you can find a settlement token, it'll tell you where north, east, south, west is. You also have this compass, which with the new characters nowadays takes about nine seconds. So you have to stay still, stay still for nine seconds. It'll tell you where north, east, south, west is as well. By the way, Wisdom's Forge is east, 50 tiles that way, each one of these being a tile. Starter Deed also provides you meals for free for the first 24 hours of in-game play. Just right-click on a bar timber, timber, tender, ask for refreshment. It gave me a steak and some cold water. Now I've got food down here. My food's at 99%. Nutrition's at 50%. You will not starve to death in worm. You will not die of thirst in worm. You just go really slow, have really slow stamina region, and life will suck. But you'll never die. Uh, if your food gets down to 8%, you will fast. Your food bar will re will go back up again. What happens there is that your nutrition goes down by 20%. Each time, nutrition... I can't talk. Nutrition is also important for skill gain. Since we got here, every deed has well for water. Always try to keep your water above 90%. I don't need to drink, but I'm going to anyways because it's just a good habit. See water, get a drink. We also have your pottery bowl that we filled up at the actual tutorial area. Still got water in it, still at 9 kilograms. If it was empty, I would fill it up as well. Starter deeds also come with the mailbox. Mailbox, you can check to see if you have mail. Usually, if you have mail, every so often, orange text will show up across the middle of your screen telling you have mail. You can check it. And if there's nothing in it, you can open it. If you want to send something, drag it from your inventory into the mailbox. You can't send everything in a mailbox, but you can send quite a few things and then send it. If you're going to send it, I have spud over there. 
I just type in spud. If I want him to pay for the mail, I do cash on deposit. If I'm going to pay for the mail, then I don't do anything here. If I try to send it right now, I don't have any money, so I can't send anything. If I had money and I didn't want him to pay for it, I could send it. Now, Spud needs another rope like it needs another hole in the head because he has tons of ropes. So there we go for the rope, and there we go for the mailbox. Also, if you right-click examine the mailbox, again, you'll see its quality. Maximum is 100. This one's pretty high at 91. Also, the power of the cast for mail, which determines the speed that the mail can be sent. This is 93 out of 100, so it goes pretty fast. Probably about five minutes, I would say, before the person got their mail. A starter need is a great place for safety. You do have these NPC characters running around. Where are they? There they are. There's one. So what happens is that if a monster ends up showing up on this deed, these guys will run out and automatically attack. I encourage you to go out and explore the deed. You have forges that you can use in order to melt ores. You have... These are just kind of rough frames and everything to show you what's going on. Hey, look at this. It's a dead body. Hmm. Town Herald. So the way it works, if you're out in the middle of the wilderness and you die, bam, get eaten, fall off a cliff, try to dance, break a leg, now, however you want to put it. You have 24 hours before anybody can mess with your stuff, which is a long time. And there are ways in game that priests can cast spells to locate your body. If 24 hours goes by and I find your corpse out in the middle of nowhere, which is kind of morbid because you're already pretty sewn up, but anyways, I can left click, shift, left click again, and then try to drag all your stuff into my inventory. I can't do it here, it's on a deed. It's not gonna let me do anything. You can also use a headstone and bury the body. This has got blood on it and everything, it's kind of gross. Again, with this deed, like over the tutorial, you can climb up, you can look at different things. Starter deeds don't have anything in them, really, because people don't hang out at starter deeds. It's just a teleportation point. You don't usually find dead bodies in starter deeds either, so that's kind of interesting. So, you know, run around, look around. You've got CJ's cart here. It's been here for weeks. Hey, CJ, if you're watching YouTube, come take care of your cart. I don't know why it's still there. Use bulls to carry carts. Now, as you start exploring outside of the deed, not all the deeds here on the starter towns are the same. Some are big and open. Some are walled like this one. You're going to want to know where your deed limit is. So you're going to want to watch your event tab as you're hitting your W to move forward. And boom, right there. You left Lormer. So if you're running around here, pretending like you're big and tough and smashing stuff, and all that stuff ends up wants to come over and smash you, you know where the limit is before these extra characters, the guards, NPC guards will come and help you, which is right here. So just keep that in mind for any deed. Now that's deeds that have guards in them. You have the options to, to have or not have guards, but that's another story for another day. You also find you have signs and stuff. Sweet Briar. Yeah, that's another deed. It's my friends. Sure, Falkley. That's another guy that's down there. So you'll have signs that guide to different areas. You'll also have these lights, which, by the way, right click and examine. It'll tell you that it was made by somebody, probably Puncher. Has a quality, no damage. But that's the starter deed. You can go around and you can explore it. And when you get to this point of the game, you have two, really two choices. You can use wiki, you can go out and you can do what's called foraging. You can try to start on your own. And I'm going to tell you that mm, probably 80% of the characters that try to do it that way end up failing miserably, dying stupidly, and hating the game and then leaving and then talking smack about it to everybody else. Don't do that. We have starter, there are starter deeds, and there are helper deeds uh, near every single starter deed in this game. You don't need to he-man it. You don't need to prove that you're some kind of guru at gaming. We don't care. What we do care about, though, is that you enjoy yourself with Worm, and that you come spend time with the community, 
and get to know how things are. Come join the deed for a little bit. Help us help you, teach you some skills, forge some wisdom, teach you how the game works. We don't expect you to stay forever. No, we want you to go out, make your own deed, be a friend, and, you know, come do public projects with us or just help other people learn stuff, teach stuff. That's what we want to help you do. And then, once you've learned some of the tricks of the trade of Worm, then you too can help new people when they come in. Now, some people aren't like that. That's fine. You should all be like that, though. You should all be willing to share your wisdom. So, we're going to head over to the deed. And just wander this way. I don't think I need to record this, but we're going to head 50 tiles that way. And when we get there, we'll talk about it from there. So, thanks again for vlogging in Worm. This is Bud and Wizard Forge out.